Hello, welcome to Whiskey Ace. Well, after having a year off, the news from 2011 in our industry has to be, where is the rye? All the bar bartenders across the world are asking for rye, and there isn't any. Well, slightly confusing. Uh, most people think there is lots of rye uh, around, some very major brands, but in fact, they're not true ryes. So if you look back at the history of the USA, uh, whiskey was all about rye. Uh, President Washington um, in 1797 built a distillery and um, asked for 60% rye in the recipe. Um, also there were some ryes around at the time that were 100%. Today it is so difficult to find them and mainly that's the new breed of bartender uh, often now called mixologist with some of the amazing cocktails that they put together. Um, but about 10 years ago they decided that also the very uh, traditional cocktails needed to be uh, very authentic. And to be authentic, if you take the Manhattan uh, or the Old Fashioned, they were rye, not whiskey or bourbon, which uh, is often used now. The only supplier distilleries that are really making a rye in the United States are bourbon producers and bourbon producers uh, sell an awful lot of bourbon and, and don't seem to have a lot of time for this demand at the moment. Um, quite often the premium bourbons that you get have some rye in them and what I think is that the the industry at the moment is looking at this as a bit of a fad uh, the demand is certainly there in the top bars and restaurants around the world, but you have to look at the industry and 80% of all alcoholic beverage sales are sold at retail and taken home now. Um, so they have to look at that and 20% and, you know, is it a fad? Who knows? Anyway, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get another perspective from our resident mixologist uh, in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And he's at the middle spoon, and right now we're going to go over to Jenna uh, and get his perspective on this. And I think he has a, a trick or two up his sleeve. Are you there, Jenna? Thank you, Mike, and welcome to the middle spoon for the cocktail portion of Whiskey Ace. Today we're going to be making a classic Manhattan cocktail. So. First of all, we're just going to take a look over here at uh, the whiskey that we're going to be using. As Mike mentioned, he was able to find uh, a 100% rye grain whiskey uh, in the NSLC. Unfortunately, we were uh, using the Rittenhouse rye whiskey, which is out of Pennsylvania. It's a 100, uh, 100 proof whiskey, uh, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to use that anymore. So we found an alternative, uh, a little bit lower alcohol content, but very smooth nonetheless. So. The Manhattan Cocktail was seen uh, publication around the early to mid 1800s. There's a bunch of stories surrounding this cocktail, but we're not going to get too in depth with that. That's uh, another story for another time. We're going to get right into making the cocktail here. So we'll start off with a chill mixing glass. And what we'll add to that, first of all, we're going to start with our bitters. So we've got two different types of bitters. Traditionally, we use the Angostura bitters in the, in the Manhattan Cocktail, so we're going to do two dashes of Angostura bitters. And I also like to add a little bit of Peixotes bitters, which is a bitter out of New Orleans, which was first manufactured in the early 1800s, but it adds a little bit of spice and a little bit of vanilla to this cocktail. We're going to add one dash of Peixotes bitters. From there, since we are using a high proof rye, I like to add just a tiny bit of homemade vanilla simple syrup, about a bar spoon worth. Traditionally, the proportions for a Manhattan cocktail are two to one, so you can either do two ounces of rye, one ounce of Italian vermouth, or I like to do one and a half to three quarters. So, we're going to start off with the Italian vermouth, and we're going to add three quarters of an ounce to our mixing glass, followed by one and a half ounces of Alberta Premium 100% rye green whiskey. So, from there we're going to add ice, stir our cocktail to chill it. What we're doing by stirring this cocktail instead of shaking it is really just chilling down the cocktail. We don't want too much dilution. 
With classic cocktails, typically you want to be able to taste a lot of the alcohol that's being added into this cocktail. So we're going to stir it for about 20 to 30 revolutions each way. Just chilling down the cocktail again, we don't want too much dilution. From there, we're going to strain into a chilled cocktail glass. And then we're going to garnish with an in-house homemade whiskey flavored cherry. Make sure we give her a taste, make sure she tastes okay. And serve. Thank you for stopping by the Middle Spoon for the Whiskey Ace cocktail section. I hope to see you again. Thanks Jenna, that was awesome. And there you have a Manhattan. Also, uh, I'm quite pleased with myself. In 2010, if you check back through Whiskey Ace videos, you will see that I um, showcased Alberta Premium as being the only uh, commercial, anyway, rye that's 100% from Canada. While it may not be quite the same taste profile of the United States, at least we can say Canada, we have a true 100% rye. That's it from Whiskey Ace. Check back in with us soon. See you later.